Hello, sports fans and football fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z. I'm here with my week 10 picks. So let's get into the picks. Oh, wait. Phone's ringing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, my, uh, my record last week. Right. All right, well, uh... Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't know you wanted to get involved with the discussion, Mr. Helper. Oh, God, why? Say it! Say it! So anyway, uh, my record last this past week was five and nine. The reason that bad things happen to you is because you're a dumbass. <laughs> So with the five and nine record uh, last week, that makes me seventy-eight and fifty-eight for the year. <laughs> oh wait, you're serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> now remember when I said that a chimp at the zoo could get half of the picks right? Well, five and nine. Well, let's just put it this way. I made a little chart. Here's a chart that I made. 50% you can see is the monkey at the zoo. 43%, which would have been if I were 6 and 8 this past week, would have been uh, my cat could have gotten 43% of them right. And then you can see down where I am right here. 35%. And that was someone who knows nothing about football and who is also in a coma could get 35% right. And then, of course, down at the bottom, you've got 27%, and that is someone who is deceased. Luckily, I wasn't that bad this week. So, anyway, yeah. With the 5-9 and nine week and the 78 and 58 on the year, which makes me something like 57.4% for the season, I got a lot of digging to get back to 60. A lot of digging up to get back to 60. So with that, let's now get into the week 10 picks. All right, so the first game is going to be Thursday, November 11th, and that is going to be the Ravens at Miami. And as impressive as Miami looked last week in beating the Texans, and do you really have to be impressive to beat the Texans? And as bad as the uh, Ravens looked having to go to overtime against the Vikings. And really, let's face it, the Vikings go to overtime nearly every week. I am still going to stick with, yeah, let's go with the Ravens in that game. So I'm going to take Baltimore to beat Miami on Thursday night football. So that brings us to the Sunday, November 14th game. And the first of those is going to be the Buccaneers visiting the Washington football team. And, uh, <laughs> right. No, we're going to go with the Buccaneers there. Um, you know, they did, they are coming off a bye, and they had a rather embarrassing loss the week before to a Saints team that had a backup quarterback playing, but I'm still going to go with the Buccaneers in that one. Uh, the next one we have is the Steelers are at home hosting the Detroit Lions. And uh, yeah, right. You knew where the Lions were going. Yeah, we're going to take the Steelers to beat the Lions for a hundred, Jack. Yeah, I'm going to Go with the uh, Steelers in that one. Uh, the next one we have is the uh, Titans are at home hosting 
the New Orleans Saints. And you know that the Titans gave a good old-fashioned ass-whooping to the Rams last week. Mainly with their defense and with uh, Matthew Stafford throwing a lot of passes to Titans instead of to the Rams. But I'm still, and that's really the only reason they won that game, but the Saints are, I don't know. I mean, they're like this mediocre team. They win sometimes, they lose sometimes. So let's go with the Titans in this one. I'm going to take the Titans because certainly if the Titans' defense can play like it did last week against the Rams, they don't need a lot of offense. And they did bring in Adrian Peterson at running back, but, you know, he's on the Geritol program, so we don't know what that's going to do for him. But, yeah, take the Titans in that one. Next one we have is the Cowboys are at home playing the Falcons. And you did notice last week that somehow the Dallas Cowboys managed to lose to the Denver Broncos. Say what? But that having been said, I'm still going to go with the uh, Cowboys. I think that the Cowboys are just a way more, way more talented team than the Falcons. The Falcons, you know, they're not that, I mean, they're just not that good. And, uh, you know, even though Mike McCarthy is kind of stupid as a head coach, I really still uh, think that his players are going to outperform the players on the Falcons. So that brings us to the next game, and that is... The Patriots are at home against Cleveland. Now, you know that Cleveland had a really impressive win last week against the Bengals, which I did not see coming. And if you know anything about the Patriots this year, you know that they don't play well at home or they don't seem to play well at home. But guess what? We're still going to go with the Patriots. I, still, I just think that Bill Belichick... He has that team absolutely prepared to play football. They don't take anybody lightly. And the Browns, yeah, you know, they did well against the Bengals. But maybe that's maybe because the Bengals are really not the real thing that we thought maybe they might be. In fact, it's looking increasingly more like that is the, the case. So... I think the Patriots are going to win at home, even though they've had a problem doing that against the Browns. The next game we have is the Jets are at home hosting the Buffalo Bills. And uh, last week, the Buffalo Bills lost to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Do you understand the word? Now, I did not see that coming. Really, nobody saw that coming. I don't think Urban Meyer saw that coming. But, I'm still going to go with the Bills. I think even if Mike White plays for the Jets, and it's likely he will, I still got to say that um, the, the Bills are going to be ready for the Jets. Again, it's just a talent issue. They got too much talent. Of course, they really had more talent than the Jaguars, too. Way more. I don't know what happened there, but I'm going to assume it won't happen every week. So, that brings us to the next one, and that is... Were we just talking about the Jaguars? Well, yes, we were. And the Jaguars will be visiting the Indianapolis Colts. Now, I haven't been a big fan of the Colts. And the last few times that they've played, you know that I've picked against them. But, and these guys just beat the Bills. So, yeah, no, no. We're going to go with the Colts in this one to beat the Jaguars. There's no way. I can't see the Colts losing to the Jags. The next one we have is the Chargers will be hosting... The Minnesota Vikings, the team that seems to every week go to overtime. They're in every game, the Vikings are. 
and the Chargers have been inconsistent at times. So what I'm going to say is, I'm going to say this time, go with the Vikings. I'm going to say this time that the Vikings actually nail it down in regulation. They play well enough like they have been, but they don't go to overtime. Or if they do, they win it in overtime. But whatever. Let's just go with the Vikings. The next one we have... <laughs> yeah, we have the Cardinals at home in Arizona against the Panthers. Right. No. We're going to go with the Cardinals to beat the Panthers big time. If I had a lock of the week, I would say this is the lock of the week. Go with the Cardinals in that one. The next one you have is the Broncos are at home in Denver hosting the Philadelphia Eagles. And my good friend Chris Dufour, who is a Broncos fan and who has called the Broncos out when he thought they were going to lose, says that there's no way they're going to lose this game. The Eagles are actually going to lose this game. But I say the Eagles are going to win it. I say they're going to find a way and they're going to muddle through and they're going to beat the Broncos. Because let's face it, the Broncos really aren't that good. Maybe the Eagles aren't either. But you know what? With what I've seen the last couple of weeks, with how I've been getting hammered and, you know, losing games that I should have had right, this is one that a lot of people would say the Broncos should win it. So I'm going to go the other way and say the Eagles will. The next one you got, you got the Packers at home against Seattle. Now, will Rodgers be back for this? The likelihood is that yes, he will. He had to stay out 10 days, which means he has to be out till Saturday. But it's Rodgers. So even if he sits out the entire week and Love gets all of the reps in practice, Rodgers, I think, would still be the quarterback on Sunday against Seattle. And we don't know if Russell Wilson will be back. That's a question mark. And... Even if he comes back, is he going to be 100%? So I'm going to go with the Packers in this one. I think the Packers beat Seattle. And in fact, Jordan Love has already, you know, he's gotten his baptism by fire against Kansas City. And he'll have a whole week of practice guaranteed. Because, like I said, Rodgers can't practice this week. So, even if it has to be him, I would say that... I like their odds. I mean, they shut Kansas City down pretty well. They only gave Kansas City 13 points last week. And uh, with another week of, uh, you know, practice and a, a game under his belt, who knows? Maybe Love pulls it out if he has to. But like I said, it's probably going to be Rodgers anyway. Now, we were just talking about Kansas City a little bit. And the Raiders will be hosting the Kansas City Chiefs in Las Vegas, I am going to go with the Raiders in this one. The Chiefs have won the last two weeks, but one of those was against the Giants. And it was only 20-17 to that they won. And then they beat a Rogerless uh, Packers team by the score of only 13-7. to so, while it may appear as though their defense is playing better, because it does appear that way, you have to remember, one of the teams was the Giants that that defense played better against, and then one of the teams had a brand new quarterback who has never started an NFL game at the helm. So, you know, I mean, I know I've said that they can't tackle, and so far, it looks like maybe they have solved that problem. But I still don't think that they're this, you know, juggernaut that's just going to roll through everybody because they're not. So we'll see. But I'm, I'm going to say go with the Raiders, especially at home. And that brings us to the Monday 11-15 game, November 15th. And that is going to be the Rams and the 49ers. 
And yeah, the 49ers, they're a complete mess. We're going to go with the Rams, even though the Rams did lose this uh, past week to a Titans team that you thought was toothless after losing Derrick Henry. But it's still the Titans. They have a good and improving defense that gets better every week. And, uh, you know, Stafford made mistakes that, let's just say, you don't expect him to make every week. So, those are my picks. I'm sticking to them. How do you like my picks? Let me know with a comment below. Let me know what picks you disagree with, if there are ones that you disagree with, and there very likely will be. And, um, hey, that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.